Hello everyone, this is Kogge and welcome to ATKC Home Improvement Show. Many of you would have agreed if I were to say that our water supply can be very nasty at times. Besides having the water cut or disruptions, we are often baffled by the quality of water. Smelly, muddy, cloudy, bacteria, virus and many other hazardous concerns. And we are drinking it every day. So today, we are going to talk about water filtration system. Number one, water filter system. In general, there are two categories, outdoor and indoor water filtration system. First, outdoor, also known as whole house water filtration system, usually located at a point of entry after your water meter. Second, indoor, small, compact and specific filtering up to 0.2 microns or even more with the ability to reduce and remove chlorine, cysts, and sediments, and also to produce direct drinking water. And for today, our focus will be on outdoor water filter system. Number two, model, size, and capacity. These are the most common outdoor water filters available in the market. Reinforced fiberglass body and stainless steel body. In terms of size, we are looking at 8 to 10 inches in diameter with a height of 44 inches or even more subjected to its model and manufacturer. For maximum working pressure, it is 120 PSI with a flow rate of 33 litre per minute and up to 1000 litre per minute depending on the capacity of the tank. This is multi-port WAF MPV and the WAF side here is 3 quarter or 1 inches. Number three, tests and certifications. Do not get blinded by the labels, but get to know them even better. NSF, National Sanitation Foundation USA. NSF independently tests, certifies, audits, trains and consults for food, health science, water, sustainability and consumer product sectors. FDA, the Food and Drug Administration's USA, which is responsible for ensuring or protecting the public health. Based on my personal experience, there are some of the outdoor water filters that comes with a 10 years warranty. So what does it cover? Upon investigation, I found out that this warranty is only limited for the body of the tank only. So audience, please be careful with the terms and condition and verify the product information before you make that purchase. Number four, filtration media. Filtration media determines the quality of the water supply. And it is very important to understand each of the layers. From top to bottom, beginning with the first layer, anthracite, zeolite, fine gravel, fine sand, and coarse gravel. Number one, anthracite. Anthracite is a hard and compact variety of coal with the highest content of carbon. Its primary function is to trap the sediments and also to absorb a large amount of impurities of the water. Number two, zeolite, a natural occurring mineral rock. The main advantages of using zeolite is its ability to produce cleaner, safer and quality water and to bind and remove ammonia, nitrogen and various metal ions. Third, fine gravel, to remove dirt Fourth, fine sand, further trapping of finer sediments. Fifth, coarse gravel, as the underbed support to balance the pH and to improve the oxygen flow. Audience, please be reminded that there are various configurations of filtration media available in the market. For backwashing, please remember three simple steps. First, move the multi-port WAF MPV from filter mode to backwash mode and allows sediments to flow out until it appears clean. Next, move it to rinse mode and rinse the water output for 3 seconds up to 3 minutes. Finally, move it to filter mode for normal filtration. Audience, it is very easy to identify. The color of the backwash water indicates the level of dirt trapped within your filtration system. Once the filter is clean, 
the backwash will turn out to be clean. Frequently asked questions. Number one, what is microns? When you talk about water filtrations, you will often hear the word microns. A micron is one million of a meter, which is 0.001 meter. The smaller the microns, the better the filtration results. Number two, how many microns? For sand filters or similar filters, they start out with a 40 microns and go down to 20 microns over the time. And the only way to clean the filters is by backwashing. Number three, how often do I need to backwash my filter? A typical backwash lasts about 10 minutes and it is recommended that you do the backwashing at least once a week. If you discover that the pressure gauge reads higher than usual, this is another indication that you should backwash your water filter. Number four, how long should I change my filtration media? We strongly recommend that you change your filtration media every 18 to 24 months. Of course, this may vary according to the quality of water supply at your area. Number five, but why? I've always backwashed my water filter. Over the time, sediments and debris can be trapped within the layers of the media, and this may also permanently stain the media into yellowish or brownish in color. Hence, the quality of the water will be compromised and the output flow will be greatly reduced. Number six, what about other outdoor water filters? Besides sand filters, there are also membrane-based water filters which are mostly single-stage filtration system. That means there will not be any backwash options available and you have to replace your cartridge every 12 months or as per recommended by its manufacturer. Number seven, which outdoor water filter should I buy? Sand filters are relatively cheaper as compared to membrane-based filters and this applies the same to its maintenance costs. However, you may expect cleaner water from membrane filters due to its finer microns. Considering both advantages and disadvantages, I believe now that you know how to choose the right water filter. If you enjoy watching our video, please give us a like and share this video to your friends and family. And do not forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel and turn on the notification bell. And I'll see you in the next coming videos. Bye-bye.